Um, I figured something out. I live in Rockingham, North Carolina. All right. So if y'all didn't know, now you know. A lot of these women around here are childish and remedial. For example, I was, there's a couple of women I've been, you know, I talked to from 09 till recently, right? Not excluding this last one. Well, maybe. I don't know. Still, the verdict's still out on that one. Um, there was one I was trying to talk, well, basically I was trying to be her friend. Come to find out this chick is cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. She came over here grinding up on me, throwing her, you know, trying to sit back and get me in my bed and stuff like this. And I was like, you know something? Uh, you got a man. I'm not going to sit back and do that. I said, what do I look like? A man with no morals, no morals, any morals? I, my morals are high. My pride is high. Why would I sit back here and really pretty much sit back here and do that to your boyfriend? Seriously, get real. You know? And I told her we could be friends and that's it. Friends don't grind on friends like that. She didn't even understand that. I was like, look, you have to quit coming over here. I laid that out to her, you know, and she got upset and stuff like this and started acting a fool. Didn't care. And I said, look, just leave me alone. You do you, I do me. We really don't have anything in common at all. All right? She actually understood when I stopped back and I told her that, and she actually left me alone. Thank, thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jeebus. But um, the next girl is this one girl who stopped back and borrowed $40 from me, right? Um, I was like, okay, cool, you know, you're going to borrow 40 just pay me back when you can, right? She stopped back here and came back to me with a sob story. I can't, my parents better kick me out of my house, this, that, this, that. I was like, oh my goodness, for 40 freaking dollars, you don't want to pay my 40 freaking dollars back? I was just trying to be nice to your stupid self, but you ain't got to sit back here and lay on no sob story to me. You know, I'm because I'm the type of person, if somebody needs it, and I know I'm cool, no problem, right? But as it progressed on, right, this girl got the whole notation that, I really wanted to be with her. And I was like, ew. And I let it out to her. I, okay, the thing about me is I'm brutally honest, right? I pretty much laid it out to her that she looked like, she looked like a repressed dyke that hadn't shaved her head yet. She got mad. Well, how can you sit back here and say this and stuff like this? I said, have you ever been with a woman? Yeah, but my point, point, in, point in case. I said, just don't worry about the 40. Just as worse as Scarface, stay, stay up out of my face. Then there was this other chick, right? Who pretty much, I'm, we're going to call her a holy roller. All right. This girl sits back here and pretty much laid it out that hey you know she is more sanctified and religious and she loved jesus and stuff like that and I, jesus gonna sit back here and lead her through stuff i'm like okay whatever you know that's her do what she do right and before i gave her my number right i laid it out i said look we just gonna be friends and nothing else about a week and a half two weeks later she sat back here and sent me a freaking message and said hey look you know i don't date black guys I'm just looking at my cell phone like, okay, congratulations. I, can, I can't love you like your daddy loved you. You know, but the thing is, I laid it out like this. I wasn't trying to push up on this girl. I was really wasn't trying to do anything with this girl. For the simple fact, why would you sit back here and say this up out the woodwork? I know this may seem like, this right here, this segment looks like I was trying to push up on her. But... If a girl is 18 years old and I'm 28, to me that seems like it's kind of warped for me to sit back here and be seriously be all in tune in with her and stuff like this. And I like I laid it out to her. I say, look, I don't want to be with you. I never wanted to be with you. I'm just cool. I just do a cookout so that we all can hang out. And when I threw the cookout at my house, right? It was like, you know, you saw back here hunker down with this one dude that liked the same thing. You like, okay, cool. But he was sitting back here giving you the story that, hey, I think I can change. But I don't think that was it. I think he was just sitting back here trying to find a way to weasel. Because, seriously, I didn't care. It was just funny. You know, but as it transgressed on, I sit back and I look and I think to myself, right? Wow. People just don't have no sense. But this is your look around them here. I will talk to y'all folks later. But my main thing is, hold on. I'm back. Hold on before I go. 
If you sit back here and see a woman who lives in Rockingham, North Carolina, right? Matter of fact, any women in North Carolina, pretty much what you do is run. Because a lot of these women, this is from what I've sit back here and I realized, they don't want no good guys. They want thugs. Um, point and take, point in case on this is that if a man sitting back here ain't doing nothing with his life, and a woman sitting back here got a job, she gonna gyrate right towards him. Come on, dude. What happened? My thing is, my question is, what happened to your backbone? You know, I'm sitting back here saying, if a woman gonna sit back here and be pretty much taking care of some dudes that are, is working and he's not working himself, you're not a man. You know, it's time for you to step up and step up or step off, simple as this. And these girls who's going for these men, well, evidently, right, you you need to hold your head up under water and just breathe deeply. Now, let's just see what happens. Because if you're going to go with these cats who don't have nothing going for them, seriously, what is that saying about you? As words of Thug Nipson, you know your mama raised you better than that. All right. But this is your local random hero. And this is another part of, I guess, another story I would want to tell y'all. And point that I'm making. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>